You know, arts are such an important part of any successful city. They give opportunity for people to get together, to create community, and so as part of our projects in Portsmouth, we wanted to make sure that we provided uh, assistance you know, during COVID and until the vaccines hit. And so the Together 250 Challenge was a bridge um, from the spring to the summer for arts and hunger relief organizations. And uh, we were so proud of the people that came out for this and how once we uh, put the challenge together and got it out, we, it, was, it was almost immediate. And when we put all the executive directors of these organizations together in one place and they started collaborating, we started talking to them, I think the energy just took off and it was pretty exciting to watch. It was pretty successful pretty early. Portsmouth is such an important, vibrant place in the state and uh, John and I both live here in Portsmouth. We've done a number of really exciting projects in Portsmouth and it's just got this special energy and I think a lot of that comes from the arts in Portsmouth and all of the unique venues that we've got here and uh, some, some people, it's a really special place where people feel really inspired. Um, There's and a gravity to Portsmouth, right? Um, There's a gravity to uh, Portsmouth for, for talented individuals in the arts and, 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 and it's a real economic driver to, um, to the state. So it's, it's, um, I think it's a really important place to the state. You know, as a resident of Portsmouth, Mark understood how important the arts were. Uh, he lived right next to the Seacoast Repertory Theater. Uh, he understood the music hall uh, as kind of the center of town, the center of the arts organization. So we would frequently talk about how our projects could positively impact those and how we could collaborate and align our brands or align our projects with the arts community to make the, make the community better and make it more vibrant. And I know that when Mark and Jeff were brainstorming about Together 200, which of course eventually became Together 250, they thought, you know, we, are, we feel like we're almost at the end of this pandemic. We, we really can see the light through the end of the tunnel. The vaccines were rolling out. You know, uh, people were starting to get excited about the summertime, but there was, was still a depth of winter. Um, and so we needed, they needed a, a bridge to get from where they were at that point to the summertime. And they just wanted to make sure that that the Portsmouth that returned sort of post-pandemic was going to be the Portsmouth we all knew and loved. And they knew that there were a lot of people working really hard to make sure that that Portsmouth would still be there. And they felt it was their duty and uh, calling to support those people. It's, it's very unique to have someone that's got such a great business legacy as well as a great philanthropic legacy. Uh, and. You can see from his projects and his support of the arts community and the hunger relief organizations that he cared about the place he lived, he cared about the communities that he developed in, and uh, he truly wanted to make the communities that he worked in better, and he accomplished that goal. And I'm glad to have been his partner and, and friend along some of this journey because it was a blast. Something that was so important to our dad was giving back to the community. And it was always part of growing up, um, talking about how we could use what we had to make our community a better place. Better. Yeah. Yeah, one of the great things about Mark is that he was an eternal optimist. He, he could see a derelict parking lot and envision uh, a new hotel that would you know, enliven the neighborhood. Um, he always looked to the bright side. He was really good at seeing good things in other people and saying, I want to support that person. I can right. see that person's vision. Yeah, the arts, are, the arts are very important to him. Mark was a great partner, he was a great friend, and, um, and I'm, I'm proud to have worked on him with this, and this will be part of his, uh, his, his legacy. I think we're really grateful to have Mark recognized for what we know was a real lifelong passion project for him of, of giving back to his community and making sure that he was doing everything he could to make his community strong. Um, but what this award means to us, I mean, I think it's more, hopefully it inspires other people to know that no matter what your circumstances are, Art's really important in Portsmouth, on the seacoast, all of New Hampshire, and if you can contribute to that or give back in a way that will support other people, uh, I, I, we know that our dad would be immensely proud. We do really want to thank Jeff for being such a great partner to our dad and, um, yeah. and being by his side during, during the pandemic um, and really working uh, with him um, 
to kick off Portsmouth 200 and, and uh, bring it to the finish, finish line. So thank you, Jeff.